that a person has a sincere repentance is what's narrated in At-Tawwabin by Ibn Qudam rahimahullah ta'ala, the story of Musa alayhi salam and the disobedient one from Bani Israel. Where Musa alayhi salam, a prophet of Allah, was amongst the people and they suffered from a drought. And he asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for rain and it didn't come, so he called upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he said, Ya Rabb, what is it? Why is the rain being withheld from us? So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, there is a abd, there is a, there is a servant of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala amongst you, who has been challenging me with his ma'asiyah, challenging me with his disobedience. And the rain has been withheld because of him. So Musa alayhi salam gathered the people, and he said, he called out to the people in Bani Israel, he said, who, who is it? Whoever that person is that's been challenging Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, stand up, seek, seek forgiveness, repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we're all suffering because of you. And that man, in those moments, feeling as humbled as he was, calls upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he says, Ya Rabb, you've kept me protected You've covered me and sheltered me in my disobedience for all of these years. So Ya Allah, accept my repentance. I'm turning back to you. He was so humbled that Allah cared enough about him. You see when Allah calls you back to Tawbah, cared enough about him to send that message to him. He knew it was him. He said, Ya Rabb, you covered me all of this time. I seek your forgiveness. Astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk started to cry to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he started to repent to Allah and he sought his forgiveness. And as he did that, the rain started to fall. And Musa alayhi salam, he asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he said, no one came forward. Ya Rabb, no one came forward. So how come the rain came? What happened? And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ya Musa, I covered that man for all of these years in ma'asiyah, in disobedience. You think I'm going to expose him in ta'a when he's in obedience? And the same person for whom the rain was forbidden for you, it now came down for you. SubhanAllah, that one moment that person upgraded their status with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by turning back to Allah and prioritizing the pleasure of Allah over all of whatever disobedience he was committing, enough to forbid that entire ummah. Is the disobedience even mentioned? No, because it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what the nature of the disobedience is. It doesn't matter how bad you've been or what you've done. Because Allah's mercy is greater than all of that. As long as you're now going to recalibrate and seek Allah's pleasure over all of that, then that's what counts. Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. Hope this video was helpful for you. This may help others too, so please consider sharing and we will bring more videos in the future inshallah. So consider subscribing and you won't miss any. Jazakallahu khairan.